Jake and I'm an intern for the Corporate Relations Department at the American Council on Renewable Energy with uh, my friends here. We're a convener in the renewable en energy industry, so we're a nonprofit that uh, finds synergies that exist between the federal arms of government along with uh, private industry and we find like interests. We hold a, a series of forms every year, finance forms, our biggest ones on Wall Street once a year. We had it last month, it was a great success. That we have a uh, so we find there are the financing uh, sectors that we find uh, we, we hook up the consulting industries that need the money from the finance industry and we're just we're convening the interests um, and it's a really it's a win-win uh, system we're a nonprofit so we kind of back off and um, find like interests and also we're and also another thing we focus on is education. We want to bring renewable energy to the forefront, just make people want to invest in renewable energy, make it more franchisable. So that, like he said, we also want to have investors work with manufacturers just to get people working on like making renewable energy more of a current major topic in politics. So not only does ACOR facilitate dialogue between industry, nonprofit, and government, most importantly, uh, it's also facilitating a dialogue between industry and the public. For example, uh, ACOR is educating, is going into places where maybe renewable energy isn't a hot topic, and we're partnering with NASCAR to be sponsored on cars, at NASCAR events, and just be putting not only ACOR's name out there uh, to, uh, for, public, uh, for public education, but also to talk with people and kids and families about yeah. what's happening in renewable energy when they might not be otherwise thinking of it, might not be realizing that solar and wind and geothermal are possibilities in their own states. It's important for it to be commonplace and well known uh, because we're all concerned about uh, the degrading environment. Uh, everyone, I think the consensus is pretty much, uh, pretty much uh, foregone about uh, climate change and, uh, due to greenhouse gas emissions uh, from carbon, which is mostly uh, put in the atmosphere from fossil fuels, from burning fossil fuels for energy sector and transportation. Yeah. So, uh, also, it's uh, there, there's a huge segment of energy security. We have a Department of Defense initiative, um, and we're working to try to get the Department of Defense using renewable energy, um, you know, push our country to a more secure future with energy, so that we're not relying so much on, uh, you know, uh, nations abroad.